Hey everybody, Icy Cat here, and now it's time to take a look at our second Navy SEAL. This is the Defender Valkyrie. Does she make another good addition to the game? I'll share with you my first impressions of Valkyrie next. Valkyrie is the second operator for the US Navy SEALs. She's a defender, and her weapon loadout consists of the MPX submachine gun. It has moderate damage, a quick rate of fire, and respectable ammo capacity with controllable recoil. Her alternate weapon is the Spas 12 combat shotgun, and this thing is an overall beast. I don't think it's as overpowered as the Super 90 was when it came out for Frost, but it is a very solid and good shotgun all around. Her sidearm is a 50 caliber Action Express Desert Eagle handgun, and she has a choice of either a deployable shield or a nitro cell. Valkyrie's special ability is a deployable camera system. She can toss these things out. They're like little grenades that stick to surfaces. Um, they do have a little bit of weight to them, so when you throw them out really far, they'll probably go down a little further than you might think. But um, what they do is they give you the ability to throw out your own camera network and uh, come up with some creative placement for these things. So like here on Hereford Base, where you often have people repelling on the windows, you can throw these in spots and you can watch them as they do so, so you know kind of what's happening and you know where to expect the, uh, the resistance to come from. And that's going to be super useful on a lot of these maps. We can also take a look at house here and see the same thing. This is kind of like what I was talking about, how it's heavier than you'd think. And sometimes you got to throw it a little like like over throw it to get it where you want. So my first camera throw here is actually in a bad place. That wasn't where I was trying to get it. But then my next one here is actually what I was wanting to get. And you can see I can get a really good line of sight on anybody that might be trying to repel on the windows as they come through. The field of view on these cameras is incredible. They're so wide angle and you can see so much in a given room. They orbit 360 degrees and uh, they, they're just, you really don't have many restrictions on where you can place these things uh, for the most part. You can put them just about any place you can creatively come up with and they are also, you'll notice they're, they're full color. They have this blue tint on them, but you can see color. They're not black and white like the other cameras are. Um, and you know, like here's a great example of using one when you're in the garage, go ahead and throw this thing out and then seal the window back up. When they make their push on the garage, you're going to see them just like everything they're doing, you're going to know about, and they're not going to know where to exactly to look for your camera. So unless you're tagging people, they're not going to be aware of that. And that brings up an interesting point. Tagging with this camera is going to be a problem because you're going to place that camera, you're going to put it in a good spot, and then some other person is going to come along and tag, 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 and have the big bright blue light on it, and they're going to know exactly where your camera is and turn around and shoot it. So here's my advice. The cameras only glow blue when you're actively using them. So if you're going to tag on somebody's camera that they placed, tag, and then immediately get off of it so that when the person turns around to look for the camera, they don't see the blue light anymore. If you're going to tag, just you know, keep in mind you're giving away somebody else's camera that they worked hard to put there. Um, so be careful with that. <laughs> and you're going to find a lot of frustration as other people get your cameras destroyed in that. So um, that'll be kind of an interesting system to see how that plays out. Now, as you notice right there, I was able to pick that camera back up again after I was done with it. As long as you can reach your camera, you can pick it back up. Um, you can use the cameras in a few different ways. They can be used, uh, you can throw them all out at the beginning of a round and sort of have them pre-positioned. Or you can throw out a couple of the cameras and then save a few in reserve to use them tactically as you need to. Uh, that can be useful if you find yourself like maybe you're being chased and as you come around a corner, you throw one of these cameras out and then go around another corner. Um, and then you can kind of wait to see when they come into the area you were just in and then, you know, ambush them through the wall. Or you can throw out some C4 and then put a camera so that it's watching that position. And as they come through, you can hop off of it real quick and kind of detonate your trap. Um, there's there's different ways that you can use the cameras in that regard that are kind of neat. Her natural counter is going to be IQ. IQ will be able to spot these cameras and detect them pretty easily, even when they're not necessarily in use. Uh, so she is well balanced by IQ, and that finally gives her some purpose. Normally, people had just been picking IQ because of her guns. Well, now that's going to change. Valkyrie gives direct purpose for IQ to be used, and then with the gadget buffs that were introduced, she's now going to be pretty useful uh, as, as an operator here on the team. 
One thing I do want to address is that whenever I've talked about Valkyrie previously, people always get worked up in the comments about how there's no female Navy SEAL and that's crap and that's impossible and it shouldn't be in the game. First of all, some clarification on that. The Navy SEALs have actually made it so that a female could be eligible for enrolling in the SEALs. One has not met the entrance requirement yet that I know of. However, it is at least in the realm of possibility. And yeah, I mean, I don't want it to feel too forced like, oh, there's two new operators. One has to be a guy and one has to be a girl. I mean, you don't, I don't want to feel like that's the case where everything's going to be forced. But on the other hand, you know, there's other things that we could be getting a little bit more worked up about. How about the fact that Castle is the only African-American character in the entire game out of, you know, 24 operators? Um, you know, it's just at the end of the day, you've really got to be like, what am I going to worry about here? And why is it a big deal? The bottom line is she's a fun operator. I really enjoy playing with her. They put some cool character design into her with her tattoos and her headscarf and some of the other elements she has going on. She has an awesome gadget. A quick note about her weapons. They are just absolutely great. I have no problem with either of her primaries. The submachine gun is fast. It is accurate. It is really fun and very controllable. I enjoy it a lot. Uh, her shotgun is amazingly fun. That is my favorite weapon. I've always loved the Spas 12. It's uh, something I, I've actually held and used in real life, and it is just so much fun, and it's just such a cool-looking weapon, and uh, I just love it a lot. It's not going to suffer from the Super 90, you know, overpowered effect. It is good. It is really good. Uh, don't get me wrong, uh, but it is uh, it doesn't have like the same range problem that the Super 90 had where you could be like shooting people from across the map and still getting the kills with it. But overall, this is a very fun gadget and a very fun character with great weapons and well balanced because she has a counter operator in IQ. Well, that's been my initial impression of Valkyrie. As I said, she's available tomorrow for the Dustline content for anybody with the season pass. If you don't have a season pass, you'll be able to unlock Valkyrie for 25,000 renown starting May 18th. Now, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to stay up to date on all the latest news and information for Rainbow Six Siege. And you can also follow IcyCat25 on either Facebook or Twitter. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll catch you next time.